Townley at CRA Speed Fest, Zaxby's Speed Fest. Um, how was your car today? I know you were quickest in one of the practice sessions. Uh, it looks like you got a good car with waters. Yes, pretty decent car. Uh, we were sliding around a pretty good amount in the uh, uh, and qualify. Yes. Um, but uh, I think it's going to be okay for the race. I mean, it, it feels, feels pretty decent like in race runs and stuff, so it's got good turnability. If we can just keep the rear tires on it, I think uh, we'll have us a good race. Have you raced here before? Oh, yes, many okay, times. Yeah. So you know how this place is a bit of a crapshoot at the end. What do you have to do to put yourself in position to not get ran over and be involved in some of those shenanigans? We don't want to be on the, you don't want to get trapped on the outside, that's for sure. That's yeah. one thing you don't want to do. Uh, but, uh, I mean, just, you know, just being smart to the end of the race. And uh, be in the good right position to, uh, to be out there and uh, make a run for it. Yeah. A little off topic, but I've got to ask you all, you know, we're away from that NASCAR setting. They've announced some changes to the qualifying procedure for you guys, too. Um, is that something you're looking forward to, the group pack qualifying? You know, uh, I actually uh, spoke um, with uh, someone from, from NASCAR recently about it. Um, they explained it to me uh, in, in a little bit more detail. But, uh, you know, it's one of those deals to where I don't think I'm really going to fully understand it until I get out there and do it mm -hmm. once. <laughs> And I think that's going to be the, it's going to be the same way for a lot of guys. Uh, and you know whether I'm going to like it or not, I think it's one thing is I'm just going to have to go out there and do it. So uh, I mean I don't I don't know that it's necessarily going to be a bad thing. I think it's going to be confusing at first though. I mean just like anything else, it's just like anything else to do. You start. Uh, all in all, you know, I, I always make it more interesting for the fans, and uh, that's, something, that's something that keeps the sport going. Kind of give me a, a season outlook, if you can, for what you think you can do in your first year in the truck series with, with Richie Waters. Oh, uh, you know, I've, I've, I've been, you know, saying a lot now that uh, I think, you know, we can do just as good last year, if not better, a, a lot better, you know, this year. I think, you know, we, we definitely we have something to build on. Uh, you know, it, it helps coming down and running a late ball because you can keep, kind of get used to a lot of the guys and it's just kind of uh, meaningful and hang out. Uh, so when you go to that, when you Daytona, you know, it's not like, it's not like alien, so that really helps a lot, and uh, I think if we can, if we can just, you know, start out like where we were last year, and, you know, just, just move forward, I think there's no question in my mind we can go out there and get some wins, and, uh, you know, who knows what else, maybe how many, yeah. how many races are you doing with the Venturini Bunch? Uh, I want to try to run the full season, uh, now, whether, you know, there might be some conflicting races, uh, <laughs> As it is, it's doable right now um, to, to run both uh, without one really interfering with the other. But if there were to be like a rain delay or something like that, then that could pose issues. So that's one thing we uh, are just going to have to make a decision when it comes to, to it. So. Could you still work with Kevin Reed or is that a different program? Uh, I don't I don't know if Kevin's doing it this, this year. He might be. Um, I haven't heard the official word yet. There's been uh, conflicting uh, information on that. Um, but. Uh, I think you know, we'll get it all sorted out and uh, see how it ends up. All right, thank you so much.